All right, so um, let me just introduce myself real quick. My name is Jonas, I'm 21 years old, and I'm originally from Germany, but I study at Warwick Business School in the UK, and I study international management with finance. Um, although I'm actually currently on my year abroad at ESSEC Business School, so what you see in the background behind me, um, it's actually my tiny apartment in the outskirts of Paris. And um, during my time at ESSEC, uh, so a month ago actually, I took the GMAT, I scored a 710. And um, yeah, this is my testimonial on how I used uh, target test prep to, to achieve that score. Um, I really started my GMAT journey about a year ago, I'd say. So I like to sort of plan ahead and be prepared and I have to apply to masters in a couple of months. And so by now I wanted to have done the GMAT. And so yeah, so, so June, July last year, 2021, I really started uh, thinking about when to study and when to take it. Um, first bought the, uh, the, the, the classic books, so the official guide to Manhattan Prep books, um, but only really skimmed through them. So um, really want to understand what the GMAT was about, what sort of questions there were, because I really started from scratch. I had no idea about the GMAT before. Um, and then towards November, I had to decide whether to continue my actual preparation, my, my, my real preparation um, with these books or to go for an online course. And um, in the end, because I thought there's only so much content and only so much practice questions that you can put in a book, I went, um, I wanted to do an online course. I prepared different courses, uh, compared different courses um, like um, The Economist, um, Kaplan, Magush, Manhattan Prep and so on. But for me, what was really important were two things. First of all, the price, um, which very often um, is very high, especially for, I think, The Economist. I was quite surprised how expensive it was. I can't speak to its quality. Um, I assume it's really good. But in the end, the second thing that was important to me was that I didn't want to, to go with big names because I thought, well, The Economist is, is a big newspaper. Uh, so this is just a niche sort of for them, uh, the GMAT preparation. Kaplan is a huge test prep company. They do all sorts of tests. So what I really wanted was a company that was geared only towards uh, GMAT and GIE preparation. So master's admission preparation. And that's when I found Target Test Prep. It had really good reviews on GMAT Club, of course. And I did the one week of trial access that you get for $1. And yeah, that's really in November when I decided I want to do it. I only subscribed in January, I guess, um, the first months of, of actual preparation. But I didn't really study that hard. I procrastinated a bit, to be honest. But still, I took my first mock test uh, beginning of February and scored a 630, which I think is quite a gap, actually, to, to think about that I only had like two months of target test prep preparation um, ahead of me. And, and really, I did really improve my score, which, uh, yeah, I, was, I, was, I, I didn't think before, um, but was surprised that I, I did score the 710 in the end. In the end, what made target test prep so valuable to me? You have to understand what most GMAT takers who score well um, have to understand and, and realize that in order to do well, especially on the quant part, you need three things. The first thing is you need to understand the concepts, of course. This is, of course, where GMAT, uh, where target test prep is really good because you have loads of chapters. I almost thought of it too many. <laughs> because it takes you quite some time to go through the course, but in the end, you have to understand that it's actually worth it. Um, every chapter is sort of about one concept and explaining one concept very intuitively and breaking it down. And so when you do target test prep, you know the concepts, that's for sure. The second thing with the quant question is you need to be able to sort of see that prompt in the question, because it, it doesn't ask you to, it, it, it doesn't tell you which concept to use. That's the thing. It's not like, in high school um, question like use this problem um, using the Pythagorean theorem or something. Um, it gives you a maths problem and you need to have that sort of tool box where you have to be able to identify the right tools that you need and then be able to apply it. And I think that's what Target Test Prep prepares you for by, um, by, by really explaining how different concepts can be applied and how questions can ask for different concepts. Um, 
this might may not make much sense right now, but um, if you do the GMAT, it's going to make much more sense, I think. And lastly, the last thing you need to understand about the GMAT and the quant questions in particular is that you only have two minutes for each question. So I think the GMAT is very a very curious test in that the concepts are very basic that you need. So it's every high school student could could learn them, but it's applying them in a very, very particular way, in a very difficult way. So it's finding the most difficult ways of applying very basic concepts. And you only have two minutes. And so you also need sort of shortcuts and mental math strategies. And that's where Target Test Prep helped me a lot um, in that it teaches you a lot of those strategies. So one example of a practice question that I had like right at the beginning of preparation was what's the sum of um, all numbers from one to 100. And this is, I think, a perfect example of, of what the GMAT is about because I think everybody could solve that question with a bit of time. Um, but you only have two minutes. And so you need sort of the shortcuts and strategies and you need to know which shortcuts to use. So you need to select from your toolbox, be able to apply those tools and do it in two minutes. And the right way to answer this question is that you need to know which is one chapter in target test prep, for example, that for an evenly spaced set, so one to 100 in that case, the average is the sum of the first and the last number divided by two. So uh, you've got one plus 100, 101 divided by two is 50.5. Um, the second concept or the second tool that you need is to understand that you can rearrange the average formula. So the average is the sum of all numbers divided by how many numbers there are. And you can rearrange that. So you know the 50.5 is your average, you know that there are 100 numbers. And so you multiply the 50.5 by 100 and you get 5,050, which is the sum of all numbers from one to 100. Um, and yeah, I think that question really exemplifies um, what you need to do well in the quant part of the GMAT and what um, target test prep sort of provides you with and, and why it's so important um, to actually go through all chapters and do the practice questions and in the end, um, hopefully score well on the GMAT. And the same goes, of course, for the, for the verbal part as well. It really teaches you the, the specificities of um, the different question types in, in the verbal part and strategies on, on how to solve them. Like, for example, the idea that in the reading comprehension part, you can have this simple story that you get a lot of paragraphs and need to um, ask questions about them. So it's very long and you take two, three minutes to read and then you... As, as a newcomer to the test, as someone, a first-time test taker, you usually have forgotten everything about the paragraph once you start doing the question. And so Target Test Prep teaches you to do um, a simple story so that you just write down as simply as you can, just in a couple of sentences, the key concepts in the paragraphs to understand how the argument is built, to understand the key points of the argument, and to be able to refer back to that and be able to solve the coming five or six questions about those paragraphs really quickly. And um, yeah, so the, I think this is another example of where target test prep helps you, as I said, you to understand the specificities of these questions on the GMAT. Yeah, in conclusion, I'd say um, target test prep for me was the right choice because it was, um, I think, a very good price point. It's not cheap. Um, you do have to invest, of course, but it's less than what other providers are charging. And um, you get your value for the money in the end. Um, of course, I don't think it should be the only source preparation. Um, I also use the GMAT Club a lot, um, the, the flashcards, the, the question banks, um, the practice quizzes they have. I think it's an extremely valuable resource. But to build this foundation upon which you can actually intensify your, your studies and and have this portfolio of, of tools to use for the different types of questions so that you can go on to GMAT Club and be able to um, work on your weaknesses in particular. That's, I think, where Target Test Rep excels and, and where it really helped me get to the score um, which you got in the end. Mm -hmm.